In this presentation, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Midtronics MDX658P battery conductance and electrical system analyzer on a 12 volt lead acid battery. We first need to connect the tester to the battery. Connect the positive tester lead to the positive battery post. We're then going to connect the negative tester lead to the negative battery post. Once connected, the tester will automatically activate and display the voltage of the battery. To continue to the battery test, press enter. You'll now have the option to select the in-vehicle or out-of-vehicle test. If the battery is connected to the vehicle, you must select the in-vehicle test, as this setting will account for any surface charge on the battery and enable the starting and charging test functions. We are going to use the direction keys to select the in-vehicle test and press enter. The post type will now display. Select the top post function and press enter. You will now be asked what application the battery is in. Select automotive and press enter. You will then be asked the battery type. Using the direction keys, you can choose the battery type you are testing. In this case, we will select the regular flooded option and press enter. The battery standard will now display. There are many options in this menu. However, in Australia, batteries are rated in CCA or cold cranking amps. Select CCA and press enter. The battery rating or CCA of the battery will now be need to be programmed into the tester. Find the CCA rating on the battery. Once located, use the direction keys to input the CCA and press enter. The tester will now analyze the battery's condition and give you a result. There are five result messages that may display. Good battery, good and recharge, charge and retest, Replace battery, bad cell replace. Once the battery test is complete, you now have the option to perform the starter and charging test, or you can print out the battery test result and remove the tester leads from the battery to end the test. 